Hello fellow simmers and welcome to this quick little tutorial on how to get your traffic 360 from just flight working once again. First thing you're going to want to do is get into your computer and we're going to go up here to the app data and to get to that we're just going to simply make sure that's all highlighted and you're going to use the percentage sign app data oops, and percentage sign again and just hit enter and we're going to scroll down to where it says Microsoft and we're going to left double click on that and we're going to get to the folder that says FSX hyphen SE and we're going to left double click on that and we're going to go into our config file for FSX underscore SE dot CFG make sure that uh, you make a backup of this just in case something goes awry we're going to left double click on that and that's going to open up in notepad we are going to go down to where it says main and I already have traffic 360 loaded and that's working quite well and before I did that this line here was missing the sim objects paths dot six equals sim objects slash JF traffic 360 that was not there so I mean it was blank like this and I had to physically add it to the FSC config file and uh, once you put that in you should be all set now this number right here number six may or may not be different depending upon all of the uh, sim objects that are loaded in your main so you may have to choose that to the last you know, can sec sequential order like this is number six after five you know, so on and so forth stuff like that then once we get that done, we can go ahead and we don't. You can go ahead and save that, and uh, we can click out of here, and we'll go back to our desktop, and we'll give this a try out on the old uh, Steam. Left double click on your shortcut, obviously, and like I say, we'll get that going. Now this fixes only for traffic 360 from F from uh, just flight I'm not sure if there are similar similarities between traffic 360 and other traffics I only have this traffic version so I have nothing to compare it to if there are different ways or if they're very similar and it's the same type of fix please go ahead and note it down below and uh, that way we can share it with all the other fellow simmers out there now we want to make sure that this thing loaded correctly so I'm going to go up to the current aircraft and I'm going to change it and once we get to our aircraft which will be any second now okay we're going to scroll down and what we should see are like the two cars the spotty guy and some of the air traffic control towers and if you don't see those then your traffic 360 is not configured correctly and you'll need to go back in and uh, try to figure out what's going on with it as you can see I've got the control towers and I got the uh, the follow me cars and we're just gonna do a test drive and if you get that not to worry that's just the preview it'll play just fine and we want to pick like a busy airport and I'm gonna go ahead and let's just do Chicago O'Hare KORD hit enter and we'll load that and once we get loaded we'll be on the runway so we'll have to take a little trip around the airport just to see if we have any traffic on the ground we may or may not see planes in the air because it does take a little bit for traffic 360 to populate all the airplanes so don't freak out if you don't see a bunch of traffic right away give it at least 15 minutes but you should definitely be seeing some planes on the ground at a busy airport like O'Hare and we're there and this is an add-on airport by the way this is not the default Chicago O'Hare in case you're wondering how I got it to look like that so I can see some planes off in the distance we're going to take a drive and we're going to check them out. 
and just for the sake of showing you the uh, airplanes I'm not too worried about what I run over who I run over just as long as I get there uh, I can see some United planes off in the distance Is that a Delta? Yeah, we got a Delta plane there. So yeah, our traffic is working. And if you wanted to hang out for a while, you could definitely wait for the uh, traffic to populate and you would start uh, seeing folks taking off and landing. AI folks, that is. But other than that, that is how you solve the Traffic 360 problems. Don't forget to subscribe. Check us out on Facebook and check out our website at eagledesign.biz backslash flight sim productions as always any of our tutorials you do this at your own risk we are not responsible for any problems you may have with your computer and enjoy